God have blessed, no man can cause. I have said it before, and I will still say it again. There is nothing you paid bloggers will do that will pull Zion ministry down. The only thing you can do is to talk, talk, talk. Because of you are hungry, you want to gather view, to, to get paid. Hi, fans. I'm not here to waste your time today. Rather, I'm here to discuss or present to you a critical issue. Few days, few days back, I came across uh, this uh, video clip you are seeing on my screen. When some group of guys organized a, a video conference discussing and asking who ordained Evangelist Chukwe Buka Anuzie as a prophet. To me, it is laughable. To me, it amazed me that able bodied, bodied men would just gather discussing about a particular man of God. Yes, people that should keep themselves busy with either work or business, it shows that most of all these bloggers are jobless and have nothing to offer to the society. Look at the likes of Onyobodo, the likes of uh, Waja Waja, and the likes of Soles. Soles, I am very, very much disappointed in you that you 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 were able to mix yourself with with this set of people the other guy i can't see his face clearly but i feel very much disappointed one that able-bodied men that should be busy on daily basis gather on a conference call discussing about one man even the with a caption who ordained him a prophet of God. Before I go, I go far. I would urge you guys to go and read Jeremiah one verses five. We say that before you were born, I've already made you a prophet in your mother's womb. I believe you guys we are not born pagan. All you guys we are are, are are from a Christian family. Before you now decided to go back to your roots. But it's disappointing that one man has been a topic. Why, why are you asking who ordained him a prophet of God? In the Bible, who ordained Moses the prophet of God? Who ordained Samuel as a prophet of God? Who ordained Elijah and Elisha as, pro as prophet of God. Prophets are born. Prophets are not ordained. Did you get my point very well? Prophets are born and they are not ordained. For many of us here that are still confused about this topic, on the comment section of this video clip, I saw some people chat trying to correct what they are saying. If you watch, this set of people are the set of people that are carrying placard go back to our roots. Going back to our roots, call them now to ask them simple question concerning Igbo cosmology, Omenala, Odinala and so on and so forth they cannot even give you they cannot tell you anything as it's supposed to be rather coming on social media and be making noise and be asking questions today if you if they don't talk about fake prophecy done in zion tomorrow they will start talking about arrangey done in zion ministry let me ask you people it's Zion ministry, the only ministry in Nigeria. Is Evangelist Chukwe Buka Anosie the only prophet of God in Nigeria? Okay, check from the western part of the country. We have Adeba, Adebayo. We have Oyedebo. 
from the middle belt we have Pastor Christ. From the way, from the other side of the east, southeast, we have Ibiome. We have many other prophets of God. We have Suleiman. We have uh, Igilla, and so on and so forth. Why are you guys every day coming online trying to analyze a particular man of God? Well, anyway, it's not your fault. Because as long as he's at, the, he's at the top, he will always remain the topic. Funny enough, the people that are keep on calling him out on the social media are fellow Igbo brothers. Igbos who do on this thing. All your efforts is just to pull this man of God down. If it is not RNG prophecy, it is RNG miracle, or RNG this, or RNG that. You guys witnessed what happened at Abuja. Will you guys still call that one an RNG? That is to tell you that there is nothing like RNG. If, if you arrange prophecy, have you arranged the solution? Everything that is happening in Zion is crystally clear. In the play, they show. So why are you guys envy, envious of Evangelistic Bukhanozi and Zion Ministry at large? Even we that are Zionites, you guys now see us as enemy on social media. <laughs> it amazes me a lot. Most people on social media, when you make drop a comment with your handle, either they call you Atro Zion, or they call you Atro Ebuka, or they call you all sorts of names. Envious. He who God has blessed, no man can cause. I have said it before, and I will still say it again. There is nothing you paid bloggers will do that will pull Zion ministry down. The only thing you can do is to talk, talk, talk. Because of you are hungry, you want to gather view, to, to get paid. But yes, that is what you want. When I thank God for Zion Lega team, have come out straight, telling you that they are not hiding. That anything you say now will be used against you. So anything you are saying on social media concerning Evangelist Chukwe Buka Anose and Zion Ministry at large, make sure you have the evidence. Don't come out and implicate yourself. According to the legal team, consult your barrister, consult your lawyer before you come out on social media to defend Evangelist Chukwe Buka Anose and Zion Ministry. Make sure your lawyer have advised you and make sure that you have an evidence. Because you, you, you should not expect God. God has already blessed you to fight your battle. So you should not expect God to still come down and fight your battle for you. In other words, God has blessed Evangelist Chukwe Buka Anose and God has blessed Zion ministry and Zionites. So we Zionites, we don't expect God to come down and fight our battle. God has given us the mantle to fight our battle as a ministry. So stop saying we should allow God to come down and fight for us. No. God has equipped Zion ministry with timbers and calibers. With men that can come out, they can they will give car 100 million, they will give car 50 million. They will come out, they will they will they will alleviate people. Okay, check out the uh, Seraphic Foundation. There are people sponsoring that foundation to help both Zionites and non-Zionites. So God has already equipped Zion ministry. 
So if you are fighting Zion Ministry, Zionite at Evangelist Chukwebuka Anosie, get ready to defend yourself at the appropriate quarters when you are being picked or when you are being served a letter to come. So my advice to you all is that if you come out, if you like, come out hundred times and be asking who ordained him a, a prophet or who do this, who do that, at your own peril, a carnal mind will never understand the things of the spirit. If a Shukwe Bukanoze is spirit filled and there is nothing you can do about it, or no one we. Eh? Ona, ona ata hiya. Eh? Ona ona we we ona apanri. Isi no me na arrange today. Tomorrow I am here for also. E puta pasi no o me para arrange. Eh? You better turn a new leaf. If if he is doing arrange, we we like it. We love me. We we love the arrange. All the Zion Zionites. Love the energy that is happening in Zion. So if you don't like it, if you don't like it, Queen Shigina who work. So that is it. So this is my advice to you guys. Get something doing and leave Zion Ministry alone. Zion Ministry have come to stay. And Evangelist Chukwe Bukano say, have come to stay. There is nothing you can do that can pull him down and there is nothing you can do that can pull Zion ministry down on this I say Zion we move so the earlier you come and become Odobu the better for you that is that is me for you today so God is here